Richard from Uprint. You guys will probably know me by now. Um, we actually, what we're doing at the moment is we're introducing the, the A4 CMYK machine back into our, um, our list of things that we sell for two reasons. Because it's a very fancy machine, it's a, it's a 1200 by 1200 resolution, and it's a much cheaper solution than the Pro White A3, which is very expensive and it's proving to be too expensive for the mom and dad industry. So we started Uprint many years ago, over 15 years ago, on the CMYK before white came out and we did very, very well in it, doing all white products like white mugs, white pens, golf balls, white bottles, anything that has got white already on it, which is probably about 50% of the promotional industry market, has a white product to print on. So this machine is going to be probably less than a third cost of what a Pro 8 would be. And so we're reintroducing it because we've subsequently found a way, instead of pulling the fuser unit out, we are now able to use the printer with our technology with the fuser unit in. Uh, we, we do not have the same amount of papers that go through the Pro system, so it's easier to use, but their chemicals are pretty much the same as what we use on the Pro series. All right, so the main features of this machine are the fact that it can do a, a, a banners up to 1.2 meters, double side, it's, it's, um, it can print both sides of the, uh, of the page. It can be a label printer and a card printer. So it's, it's got all those extra uses for the market as well as doing all the uprint work that needs to be done. So exciting little machine at a fraction of the cost of what a Pro Series cost. All right, so another advantage over the having the fuse unit in instead of taking it out now is that you can actually use, even with cardstock, which can you see is cardstock, you can even use the, the tray at the bottom, which means you can pile in 20, 30 cardstocks in there close it and it'll and it'll bring it up to the top so there's no need for um, off using the page afterwards as you you do with the pro series so it's it's, it's a, like an added advantage it speeds up time and once you've printed on this it'll go through the very same process it does with our pro series printed As you can see in the videos, you can do it with a pad press. The chemical I'm spraying onto the ceramic mug. It's a, it's a new chemical that we have gotten. Very proud of this chemical. A novice sprayer can get a very good shine out of this, this coat. It's, it's a very user-friendly coat and it's very durable. In fact, we're so confident with it, you can actually even use it in the commercial industry. So it's very exciting to know that. Rolling and pressing on in the same way that we've always done it is also, as you can see, still available. What I want to show you is the ease of how, because there's no white toner and we're using only the white, you'll see how quickly it presses and transfers with the Marine A paper onto the hard helmets and any, any other material that, like that would be as easy as what you see me doing this mine helmet with. What you're actually seeing is a chemical transfer. It's not a heat. It's two chemicals that when they meet each other, they fuse together. And what happens, it releases off the paper and it goes onto the helmet. 